Hello, my name is Edward Chapel. I will be uh, discussing my ethical paper from Ethical Issues in Healthcare. Uh, the topic I chose is why the ACL are we here? I uh, referred to and addressed uh, ACL issues mainly in sports and how it affects the whole industry as well as the athlete as itself and then the athlete's uh, recovery time, how they come back from the injuries based on being pushed or being put in a position where they feel that they have to get back on the field, the court, or any other uh, facility or arena for the benefit of the game over the health or wellness of the athlete. So based on that, um, my personal experience, you know, I tore my ACL back in 2008, um, and the rehab was one of the hardest things I've had to do but it wasn't as hard as the actual belief of, you know, having a limb that wasn't functioning the same way it had functioned before when I had never had an injury like that. Now, I had heard it based on uh, playing sports uh, as an adult um, on my weekends and my leisure time. So I wasn't as affected when it came to my money because I was luckily had a job where I could take time off and I had someone to care for me and things like that. With injury really hurt my ability to, to take care of myself and to be able to do the most functional thing that most people do is walk. So based on that, you know, I didn't lose any money. I didn't lose much time at the job. I was only out for maybe uh, six weeks, um, enough time to have my surgery, enough time to be able to uh, recover for a couple weeks. And luckily, the fact that I didn't uh, have to drive to work since I had a remote job. It didn't hurt me as much as an athlete where they would have to uh, you know, have someone at home taking care of them. They wouldn't be able to go to their arena. They still have to go to the facilities. They still have to go through rehab and all the things that, you know, the psychological parts of you know, the media, the, the staff, and the ownership wanting to them to get back as soon as possible. Based on that, you know, I had to uh, do rehab three times a week. And luckily I had been an athlete in my high school days, so all it was was mostly at first getting the full function of motion back in my knee from having to stretch it out to where it's flat, to all the way up where it's uh, next to my thigh or my hamstring. And then the belief that once I got that mobility to bring into it the creation of strength, which was through uh, weight training and things of that nature. Now, understanding the injury, it took uh, a few months to get there, or a couple months to get there, which I feel like my recovery was pretty fast, and I was able to return back to doing straight line things within a week or two. Now, ethically, it didn't affect me as much as an athlete, because the athlete has to, you know, be able to still meet with the media. They still have to have the belief that they should have their privacy, but my privacy wasn't necessarily... Uh, disrupted, but their privacy is because you know, based on HIPAA laws and distributive justice, they still have to go out there and talk about something that is very near and dear to the heart. And especially when you're watching other people play your position, and you have to sit there and take on the, the belief that while well, I'm out, there's someone who could come along that's better than me based on the draft or a free agency or a trade, and this could affect my money depending on what year I am in my contract and how that uh, affects. The sport, as in general, if you are a star, you know, based on your star power, uh, the ability to negotiate, as well as your outside endeavors and your endorsements. So based on that, a lot of people, you know, would think that an athlete would have to go through so many different avenues trying to understand, you know, what is my role as far as fidelity-wise within, you know, my culture of being in the sport, and, you know, how is the game going to treat me once I'm, I come back, let alone if I come back at all, you know, in the past, it was a lot harder. But now, you know, most ACL injuries, you know, it's a year of rehab and coming back. And then most athletes in that, within that year to 18 months is able to recover fully and function within their sport, hopefully without uh, an actual, uh, you know, uh, I would say disruption to their explosiveness. But usually it takes two years at least to be fully functional where you could uh, still be that star power 
and still uh, not have to deal with the swelling and the inflammation that comes along with it. Now, within that game, just understanding that, you know, there's gatekeepers. You know, like I said, the media and the ownership wants you to come back. You're not able to come back. You're not able to give them the product on the field or the arena that will ultimately create them monetary gains. Now, your monetary gains will be affected by that, as well as, you know, ethically, how does that affect your family and your mental state status? That, based on the belief that, you know, within that time frame, that they're also, you know, trying to push you to come back. So that belief in the game or understanding of uh, making the system work for you and understanding how the system could affect how you actually perform when you're out there and the institution of sports uh, affecting that uh, arena or that belief in your ability to perform. Now, based on that, you know, I feel like, you know, that was one of the things ethically that is changed the game based on the belief of branding and marketing and how that would change how people see an athlete and their brand and star power. Now, the things that I also think about is how is that athlete going to uh, perform, you know, mentally? Now, how is that strain on them as far as their families and all the things that come around when it comes to being part of an organization and being part of a sport in and of itself? Now, finally, just believing that the athlete has to adapt, but also at the same time understand that within that hierarchy and that egalitarian uh, atmosphere that they have to humble themselves in some respect, but at the same time keep hope alive that they believe that they are one of the important aspects of the team and organization and the league.